The Last of Us. Just the two of us. Let's talk about the show. Hey guys, we're back with our special guest, the Dark Lord of Shenanigans, Tony, to talk about zombies, because I mean, what else does this man love? Let's talk about Last of Us, Episode 8. What are your thoughts? I relate to them because, of course, you know, I, I don't know do names, so I'm just going to say the people of the new community that reminds me of Terminus from Walking Dead, I felt their pain because I was hungry earlier. But I made mistakes. <laughs> For those of you who are uninformed, he is lactose intolerant, and shenanigans <laughs> always ensue. Half a bucket of cheese balls. Oh, I'm so good. He had a hell of a battle, just like Ellie had a hell of a battle with the man, hey, man in the town. She did. Her, hey, look. First of all, I'm glad she ended that pedophile's life because that's one thing I don't tolerate. And I'm sitting here like. Cause I I got the creepy vibes at first when they when they came in, and it was you know just him talking and he was like the little cult leader. I was like, yeah, I'm not so sure about this guy. And of course Ellie's out there doing her thing, you know, hunting, and I'm surprised she got to actually hit the deer because you know even though Joe taught her how to shoot, she ain't good. she's not good at shooting, but she's good at bluffing, which is how she got out of it at first, but. Yeah, and then when it, when he got her to that cell and they captured, I was like, yeah, I, I got the vibes. And then you see the little ear on the floor, and I was like, yep, Soylent Green. It damn sure is. It's Soylent Green. <sighs> there were just so many things that led up to it. And it was like, for me, the red flag went up when he kept referencing himself as a nice guy. So, like, there's yeah. all too many times in even our society where people are like, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice person. I deserve blah, 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 blah. Man, that's not how this works. That is never how this works. And the nice guy finished up dead. So, man, how many times did she there, hit him? You gotta be sure. I mean, I ain't faulting her. I mean, if I'm you're not, in this kind of situation, go I'm for not. it. If when, you turn you him know, into Swiss cheese, it, it's fine. I, I kind of figured something was up with it when they were in the kitchen and the lady looked like, what is this? And he was like, it's venison. And I'm like, you sure? Because uh, mm. y'all might be coming up short in the head count with the people. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, what? Why don't why are people missing? And then Joel went looking for and found the body. Just like, oh, oh, that's now, let's talk about education. let's talk about how how much of a badass Joel is for him to be recovering from a severe stab wound from a baseball bat, and I hear bodying these dudes walking in the, walking out in the woods. Come on now, anger is a powerful motivator. He's, he's the absolute role model for all men past their prime who can still do things that you just shouldn't. Because, I mean, that's who he is. That's what he's about. And uh, there was a cameo in this episode that we do need to talk about. The okay. cult leader's friend was Troy Baker. Yes. The Troy Baker. Which means Joel, at a certain point in time, almost met Joel. But they never crossed on screen, so unfortunately we never got that moment but at the same right. time still got to give a huge nod to the man who carried the weight to help make the last of us one of the greatest games just and i will say that i i mean i think i'm in an advantage of not playing the games and just trying to expect you know try to try to ascertain what's going on in each and every episode and i'm kind of enjoying it i know you didn't like last week too much even though it was a filler but I, I do like how the story is going. And I like how when I do talk to like you and Will and other people that play the game, you're still like, yes, it's pretty much what it is. I'm like, hmm, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying these episodes. I mean, this is close to a video game as we're probably going to get done live action. I would argue the Batman Arkham series could be done live action, but there would still be difficult as hell to pull I mean, they're supposed to be Warner doing an Arkham do we supposed to be doing Arkham live action anyway, so on HBO. That and well, the Penguin, so we'll see. There's a lot of bright things about this series. I enjoyed this episode significantly more than I did last week, so I will say that much. But can, there really hasn't say, been a bad episode, so I'm, I'm happy can we say, right now. Can we say that Joel and Ellie are more like father and daughter now? Can you tell that he is actually caring for this child? 
the minute he called her baby girl, that was it. That was you, it. For me. It was done. That was, was it. Like, you, you hear you're the now, tone of voice, the expression. You're now the daughter. It's like when you have kids of your own and you use a certain expression for your kid, it's like that's it. I, I there are think she. Things you will do. I think she attached herself in that way before he did to her. And I think it, it's been shown, especially in this episode, when she was taking care of him, like she really could have just left his ass. But mm -hmm. when she started taking care of him, and then when she laid down on him, put her arms around her, like, yeah, that's daddy to her. That's that's. Mm -hmm. And not in the weird way. This is typical. Pedro Pascal goes out, finds an orphan, starts raising it, and then makes the best <laughs> deal on television. <laughs> so I was like, this is what it is. It's that's kind it's of been a fantastic meme, and I've been enjoying the show i hope each and every one of you are she still can... looks strange to me i'm just not can't get over it she looks strange to me she got alien face i love her as an actor but yeah it's just like you're missing something i can't i haven't figured out what her face is missing yet probably cheeks i don't know yet some people online have started calling her potato face and i don't, I don't think i'm gonna go that, that far is, but i think the they're time, talking about the old mr potato head because you know it was just a straight face with the eyes but no no it's something different but I mean, She's it works for her. Job. It works for her. It's just something strange. But it's just me. I'm strange like that. If you are subscribed to the channel, you know. Hey, Tony look, does this kind of button. stuff. And at the same time, we expect to see you guys next week for another breakdown. Will it be me? Will it be being Tony? Will it be Will by himself? We don't if know. If I don't eat cheese, I'll be here. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I could sculpt me an Iron Man, he might survive Infinity War. Holla! <laughs>